god. That, I think that's all the jump around the start. Jim. <clears throat> Go kill the Rhinox and their families. That's the plan. <clears throat> I mean, this isn't like Nasty Nork, you know, who, uh, who just like took our money and turned it into soldiers to fight us. This is... Like, the Rhinox stole our babies, so... So yeah, it's, it's kinda... That's really the only choice. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. I'll find out when I get there. So it's not... I mean, the idea of Sparksless is... You know, to... To be on one health... And... Damn it. To be on one health and to not... Be able to collect the gems from a distance. You need to actually touch all of them. That's the main point. The way we do that is by setting our health to just be locked at a value. And I don't know how that's going to interact with the Sparks levels. I think... I... We have a good guess, we just haven't checked yet. We think... Uh, your health in the Sparks levels is tracked with a different memory address than your normal health. So, 
we think that uh, you'll enter the Sparks level and be on minimum health. And then, like, if you collect any fodder in the Sparks level, it will heal you. And then when you leave the Sparks level, you'll just be Sparksless again. That's our guess at what will happen. If you are locked at one health in the Sparks level, we're gonna have problems then. Not because of the Sparks level, but, uh... The boxing minigame would probably have the same issue, and doing the boxing minigame on one health is really not possible. So yeah, there's just gonna be a lot of seeing what we can do here. It'll be fun. Hey Lucas. Yeah, I'll be off for a while. You're good. I say knowing full well that you have no audio. <laughs> Sheila loves kicking frogs for fun. Hey, Eliza. Good day to you. Eliza of the Sheeps. all the other gems around here, so I should be good to move on. doing this to myself uh, so that someone will have done it. Also, if I'm not trying to get a good time and I'm just trying to finish it, I think this is a lot of fun. As soon as I'm trying to be good at it, it gets really hard.
Sure, I'll take that. Spyro is zooming. I picked up a bunch of speed that I don't really want. <laughs> what? What are you doing up there? Oh, crap. That shouldn't be a surprise, but it is unfortunate. Um, I think I did get all the gems around here, though. I don't think I have anything left out this way. I... whatever. Oh! There we go. I only missed one. I just reached for the split button and then remembered I don't have splits. Fine. I... <laughs> that was silly. Oh. Hey, Tooper. Going to. Hope your weekend is starting off okay. Sheila. I frequently do that in normal 117 anyway. And I have a suspicion needing to wait for this cutscene is not going to be my biggest time loss this run.
Jenny, are you still watching? Because this level has your egg in it. Ooh. You want to play ETD? Tooper, do you want to do a Sparksless ETD run? We can do a Sparksless 437 relay, where I do 117 and you do Sparksless ETD. <laughs> Actually, though, do you have you played ETD before? Do you mean that like you're in the mood for some good old Enter the Dragonfly, or do you mean you want to play it for the first time? <laughs> I still haven't played ETD. I need to sometime. I'm half tempted at some point to grind for the ETD record without playing any of the rest of the game. Just because I think that would be funny. Jenny, here's your egg. If you're still watching. these gems. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, picking up gems sparksless Sheila is pretty fun. The way Sheila does spins and turns and stuff, it's kind of fun to try to get the hang of. Get ready for the double Zoe on screen. Okay, so far, this isn't too bad. Ah. 
I think we'll be all right. I think we'll get sub eight. That's my guess. Also, this song is really good. I never think about it when I think of the really good Spyro 3 songs, but this is a really good one. <clears throat> Ooh, that's not really good. <laughs> I think I got everything there. I won't bother looking it over. a gem here? Or was that just... No, I didn't. Must have been an illusion of the scenery.
like out of her thing. I think there's anything up here. No, there's not. And I already got everything over there, so it should be good to go down here now. I'd say we're doing pretty well so far. I missed one gem in Sunny. Fuck. I missed one gem in Sunny, but I found it almost immediately. And I didn't miss anything in Sheila. So, I don't know. I'd say we're doing... We're starting off pretty well. Uh, I got the ones up there, I know. <clears throat> what else might I have missed? Pretty sure I got the ones up here, but I'll... Take a glance. I did, in fact. Huh. Well, that's not good. I guess I'll check the Sunseed area. That's probably the most likely region I missed something. That's not bath. I agree. As far as missed gems go, if it takes me less than like 10 minutes to find it, I'll be happy. <laughs> I love when the sheep push you out of that cutscene. It's always fun. Ah, 
God. <laughs> How are you doing, Aether? I hope your weekend is starting off pretty well. At least I just got a Zoe Zap. Vortex, nice Lucia. Sores Hell, had another couple over for brunch. A lot of standing and sitting in chairs that aren't perfect for extended periods of time. Fun! <laughs> At least you got to have company. <laughs> Skip for the big memes. Amazing. What was your final time, Lucia? Also, I forgot again. What was my time? <laughs> to experience people? Yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> nice. up all of these before I get the heads. Oh, these two. I don't think I can pick them up. Yeah, yeah, no, I need to actually get them. I wasn't sure if the head would just collect them for me. super good. What do you mean? Oh, how do Sparks the Sparks levels work? Um, yeah, I don't know yet, is the answer. We have a guess that I think makes a lot of sense, but it's not like we've actually tested it, so we'll find out when I get to it. Our guess is, uh, I, the way this works is I have locked, I, I found my health in memory and just locked that value to zero so I don't have sparks. That, I've already been up here. So that makes sense. That seems fine. Um, the other part of it, though, is in sparks levels, you don't have sparks. You just have a health bar. And... So our guess is that that health bar has a separate memory address than your Sparks health. So basically, you're going to... We're going to play as the health bar, yes. Basically, we're going to get into the Sparks level, and then probably it will give us... Uh, you know, whatever health it should. Since we're sparksless, it'll probably immediately drop us to minimum health. If we die or pick up fodder in the sparks level, it will probably heal us. And then once we leave the sparks level, we'll just wind up sparksless again. Back, uh... I'm sorry, where? Is it here? 
There it is. Hey, Ragey. Ragey, did you see the latest uh, game redemption request made by Musgrub? Check the game's toaster has... Oh, wait, are you in my Discord, actually? I guess I can just tell you, also, it's Tomba 2. Muzz redeemed for me to do a Tomba 2 all-equipment run. That run I designed and then never actually did. So in two or three years, I'll get around to doing that. Oh, but anyway, yeah, we don't, we don't actually know, though, necessarily what will happen when we get to a Sparks level. We'll just find out, and it'll be a good time. And maybe I'll have to just quit this run when I get there. But if that's what has to happen, that has to happen. We will have learned, and that's the important thing. Schoolhouse Rocky once said, Knowledge is power. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Uh oh. What am I forgetting? Did I go this way yet? I did. Uh oh. Oh, right. There's more to this level. I probably got everything here. completely forgot there's stuff back here. <laughs> Let's go. You collect dragon eggs, the thieves don't appear that much. They really don't. Yeah, so... They collect for the same reason that they collect... When you play the game normally, it's just that they don't bring sparks back. It's like they collect and then sparks is back for one frame and then gone again. Um. Hey, I just remembered something. Bluto's gonna suck with one health. Yay! Yay! Cheating. Cheating in a speedrun, can you believe it? Honestly, this whole level's kind of gonna suck. Because I'm already bad at this level, and now it's gonna be even worse. Oh my god. I tried not sucking? I have not considered that, no. Sounds crazy. I'm not convinced it'll work. What's my 117 PB? Uh, it's not submitted. I got like a 420 something and then forgot to submit it before I lost the VOD. Um, 
I think on the leaderboard it's like 430 something. Or maybe high 420s? Low 430s? Something around there. Oh no. Stop. Stop missing all of the gems, please. Oh, there's one more. There's a gem there. No, there's not. There was a fragment of a barrel there that I thought was a gem. This song is really good too, actually. Spyro 3 has such a good soundtrack. I think overall I would say it does too, Aether. Some Spyro 1 songs that I really, really like, but a lot of that soundtrack does not do a lot for me. Also, there's a bunch of songs in Spyro 1... I don't know, like, if you told me... If you asked me how does the Dark Hollow song go, I'm not sure I can tell you offhand. <laughs> Spyro 3 soundtrack is just a lot more memorable. It's like B O. I don't know, that sounds like Nasty's theme. ASB? <laughs> Those Rhinox that go meow when you kill them? Oh my god, it does. Absolutely does. That's amazing. What was the other one? Somebody told me these enemies say this when you kill them. Oh, it was the the big Rhinox and Rhinox, the big Norks and treetops. Laura said they say bro when you kill them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I get that, Aether. And like I said, there are good songs. There are a bunch of good songs. I really like Alpine, I really like Lofty. Honestly, the Nasty song is pretty good. Um, it's just that those songs are very much the minority. I 
I would say most songs I don't really remember that well. Although I don't know how much of a critique that can be, I also just have a really bad memory for that kind of thing. Duke. There. No, I got all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, let's just go. Go try this bullshit. I think this is gonna be fun. I think that's what's gonna happen. I think that'll be my reaction. I'm gonna finish it and say, oh boy, what fun that was. That's my guess. You can all agree to disagree. And I immediately jump to that because I doubt any of you will ag agree. <laughs> no, no, no! Fuck. <coughs> ha ha, hee hee, ho ho. That's it exactly. No, get out of here. Smelt the seal? I've never noticed that that seal's name is Smelt. <laughs> Aether, that's a very good reference. Just a couple hits at a time here. No, no, get out of here. Oh my god, hit it. Let's go! Two tries. I don't know, Ragey. I'm gonna guess like smelting something. Because these are supposed to be, like, engineer seals. Or I guess they're supposed to be navy seals. That makes sense. I... I only just got that. Everything. I don't think I missed anything back here. So I missed like one right there. No. Yeah, it should be good. Hey, Dingleberries. A real run. Yes. Moments like that are fun. Didn't miss a gem. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, 
Um, I didn't want to read you. Yeah, let's do this boss first, and then we'll come back and do the speedway. Oops, speedway in the sparks level. Okay, this may be a little hard, because it's really easy to accidentally take damage in this boss. But I don't think it'll be that hard. I think we'll be okay. Guys, should we do the speedway or the sparks level first? Someone answer quick. Real quick. We gotta we gotta have an answer right now. Speedway. Speedway it is. I think this is all the gems, though. So that's nice. We also didn't miss anything here. sparks in the speedway. If we had a way to hack sparks out of the speedway, I would be all in favor of that. Butterflies do? They held the gems. I'm pretty sure they volunteered for this, honestly. Good question. Here's the thing. Yes, but the sorceress is also magic, so I'm gonna guess the sorceress just has the same spell that Nasty did. And instead of turning gems into norks, she turned gems into rhinox. See, this isn't a thing in Spyro 2. 
because all the monsters in Spyro 2 are actually just native to their worlds, and that's why they don't have a gem when you kill them. You see instead their soul get released from their body. They are actual living creatures that you are murdering. But it's okay, because we use those souls to power our machines. <laughs> what a game Spyro 2 is. <laughs> Yeah, get back here. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Let me at him. Let me at him. There it is. Wide Hunter. Wide Hunter sounds about right. No, wait. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. We're fine. We're fine. Entering the Sparks level less than an hour in. I think we're doing pretty well. I'd say. Okay, let's find out what happens here. Let's find out if this run is possible. Maybe we'll just crash the game. Who knows? Hello, Hold on. Where is this corner? God. Oh, whatever, I'll just do the next one. There's an easier one you can do in this room. No, almost, almost. There it is. guess was correct. Jump out of bounds on a level in Little Big Planet. Not sure I've seen any Little Big Planet out of bounds. Not sure I've ever watched a Little Big Planet speedrun. I bet those would be really entertaining. had a PS3. A friend of mine did when I was growing up, but I never had one. And Little Big Planet was like the game that made me want one. <laughs> but sadly it was the only game that made me want one, so I never ended up getting one. 
it just, it kind of felt like a waste of money just for that. I've honestly been half tempted to uh, buy a used PS3 at some point when I'm out at local game stores just to get that. Because now that I, you know, have a job and money and stuff, it feels like less of a massive waste of money to get a console for one game. Especially now that I've bought an original Xbox just for Scalar. <laughs> Buying a PS3 for Little Big Planet seems like not a problem in comparison. <laughs> Lobsters! Nice <laughs> I'm rescuing naughty eggies, aren't I? Without my bottle. I would say this is still sparksless, even though we're doing the sparks levels. I would say the sparks in the sparks levels is actually an entirely different sparks than the sparks in the rest of the game. That's my justification. It's a sparks less. Why? Why? No, I mean, why... why am I failing Bridge Swim? There we go. It's not a hard trick. Oh, I got it. Too high? 
Might be too high. I don't want to be... Uh, oh, I don't know then. I think I'm too low at this point. There's no way I need to go even lower. Do I? No. No, that'd be crazy, right? Even lower? If I go much lower, I'm gonna void out. I could have sworn it was way higher than this. Yeah, there's the void out. What the heck? Don't I want to be, like, here? Where is anyone... There it is. Okay. I was gonna say, where is anyone who actually knows this game who can point me the right way? <clears throat> How many Insomniac games have swim in her? That's a good question. Oh, hey. This is going to be one of the worst levels. I'm going to be doing a lot of walking around on my feet. Just kind of say that up front. There's going to be a lot of this. Please hit... Right now, thank you. Get out of my way. Nope, stand up. Stand up. Fly. Just stand up and fly, duh. Hit the thing, please. <laughs> this is also just gonna be a really hard level in general. Because this is always a hard level. It's really easy to take damage in a bunch of places here. I've played this game dozens of times, and for some reason, I still regularly accidentally read that name as Seinfeld. My name's Siegfried. There's a guy right under me. Oh, no, there's not. There's an NPC right under me. Good. No, whatever. I'll get that in a second. What? Oh, God. This is why this is bullshit. This is why this level is so hard. You can be right next to a guy facing him, and the rockets are like, No, I don't see an enemy. I'm not gonna home into anything. God damn it, Sergeant Bird. Why are you the worst? Seriously, these are supposed to be homing rockets. Saw how they homed in on everything else, but not the one enemy that I had left. God, this freaking game. 
We're making good progress, though. I think parts of this game are going to be stupid hard, but for the most part, the game won't be that bad. Gameplay styles? Yeah. Yeah, they both kind of went for it with this. With their third ones. Oh god. I can't collect gems while holding bombs. Okay, I don't think that's a major issue. I'll just need to be smart about how I route bomb usage. Uh, there's one right there. Um, a couple of these are going to be a pain to get. <laughs> so I think I'm going to more or less clear this room and then try to get those two gems on the lava. <laughs> does eventually give you lives, right? I'm not crazy in thinking that. Pretty sure it will, after a while. After some number of fodders. Every ten? I thought so. I just feel like I've gotten more than ten and I still haven't gotten it at this point, but maybe I did and didn't notice, or uh... Oh, come on. Oh, come on! <laughs> said, nah, fuck you. I mean, I was half, half expecting that to happen. <sighs> We're fine. We got this. We got this. It's only gonna suck a little bit if we game over. <laughs> We got this, we got this. Just wait, just wait, just wait and play it slow, slow and safe. Slow and safe. Country toad. Rocket, a bomb. 
blast a couple of these guys and see if we can't get a life. some big hoping and praying that we actually have all of the gems up to this point. I kind of like you to zap me. Oh, whatever. It's not worth chasing around forever. No! That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, what? One other? What? Did I... What? Three out of five? How do I have three out of five? Oh, actually... Okay, so one of them is probably just this one again. It probably didn't save that I got this. The other one, though... It would have saved that I got the one at the end of the tunnel, so which one does it think I'm missing? Hey, John. Why do I do these things to myself? Because I think it's hilarious. Okay, I have this one. I feel like, John, if I'm trying to do this well, it's gonna suck, but if I just want to do it at all, it's a lot of fun. This one. It didn't save that I got this one. Bizarre. Roy. I got all the gems, right? Good. Good. Okay, okay. I think that's going to be the worst level. Hather, wow. Very good. Um. I, what? No, forget about it. I almost let Instinct take over and mash decks through that, which would have been funny. do Sergeant Bird's level, and then on leaving, immediately free Sergeant Bird. Oh. Is that everything? I guess it is, yeah. Okay. When you do the money bags chase at the end, um, it only gives you as many gems as you paid him. <laughs> well, because some of the money bags things are optional, 
so they they did take that into account. Whoa. I didn't actually think I'd get that. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this route. <laughs> this is the dumb escort, yes. Luckily, it's not any harder sparksless. I mean, I guess collecting the gems and still keeping the path clear are gonna be difficult sparksless, but... But it mostly just really doesn't matter. Road. The first one is easy to remember because he just stays on the path. The second one he weaves around a bunch and I don't remember what to do. Oh god, get out of here, get out of here, stop it. I think this one? Fuck. The other thing about this one is he does actually just avoid a bunch of stuff on his own. So you only have to hit a few things. I just don't remember which ones those things are. And it goes through here. I think it's this one? Yeah, and then this one, and then this one. I like how they have this one mushroom that's too tall, but you don't need to do anything with it. It's the only one that's too tall. We're figuring this out. Pretty sure I got most of the rest of the gems already. I saw there was one outside that doorway there. gems near the end of the path, actually, that I never picked up. I'm gonna just 
run back through it real quick. No, I guess I did get him. I was thinking about right here. Okay, that's probably good then. See, I think... Fuck. I was gonna say, I think it's a good idea to just keep getting fodder all the time. Because I'm gonna be having problems with lives if I don't. And I'm sorry I got that. Yes. Yes, I did. Spooky Swamp is another very catchy song. That's a game over. It was going to happen eventually. There was no way I was getting through all of this without that. Hey, speaking of fodder... Yeah, I knew it was coming. I lost too many lives in bird. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. I missed. I... God damn it. Why? Classic. Why am I missing all these things that I usually get? I say all these things. It's been two things now. It's been the bird port portal and this portal.
What? Come on. I did not expect Sleepyhead to be an issue. <laughs> of all the parts of this run that I knew would be kind of a nightmare. This was not in not in my mind. here for the key. And then we can run around here again. Come here. What? Whatever. Get up here, come on. That was terrible, but we didn't miss any gems, so there's that. Misty bog. That's neither misty nor a bog, and also it's way spookier. There's no... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, there's no way it's every 10. I think that was like 15 fodder I killed. But I don't know, maybe it was 10. And I'm just bad at counting. Flux is an S3, that makes sense. Yeah. Purple gems are five and spiral one as well. I mean, it depends on who you ask. They're a very purpley blue. And if you call them blue, then there aren't purple gems in Spiral 1. So I don't know what you mean by not 25. 
uh, did I miss a gem here? I thought I did. I guess not. Okay. <clears throat> hey, you know what's a good idea? This. The 25s are pink, right? Because of course they are? Of course they are, because the category is called pink gem percent. category that only Lucia has run. Duh. Don't you know anything? What? Where was my charge? I guess I'm going this way. Ah. Farnia, how was whatever you were doing? That's the wrong button. Great. <laughs> love playing this game rarely enough that I just forget the controls completely. It was, uh... Was it? Most of those games are good. <laughs> Qbert is kind of a shit game, not gonna lie. I assume you mean Qbert for the PS1. He's back. More like Poobert. Ooh, got him. <laughs> yeah, that was one that I was really hoping would be good. <laughs> I've got a bunch of PS1 games where they took old, like, old, uh, game series, game properties, and tried to, tried to re-remake them in the 3D landscape, and most of them are actually pretty good. I would throw Pac-Man World in there, Pac-Man World is amazing. Uh, Pitfall 3D Beyond the Jungle is surprisingly pretty decent. Um, Frogger, he's back. It sure is a video game. But Qbert, oh god, Qbert for the PS1 was just so bad. It was just Qbert again, except it sucked. Because Qbert already was not a good game. Damn it. <laughs> Thanks, Bomber Cash. Sixth gen Frogger? Oh, god damn it, I gotta do the whole fucking thing again. <laughs> uh, what? which one is sixth gen? <laughs> Ancient Shadow? Huh? I haven't seen any of those. I think I might have seen some of one of them. Because somebody I know did speedruns of a PS2 Frogger game. 
but I'm just I'm not familiar with them really. What I saw of it looked kind of mediocre. I I wasn't I wasn't into it. Let's get the egg first. Can we do that? Can we free brew back? Yes, good. That should help us. What were some of the other rebooted series on the PS1? There were a bunch of them. Oh, that Missile Command game I played the other day. That was not. That one was... It wasn't great. <laughs> it could have been a lot better, but, uh... It seems like they just made Missile Command again, but with bad graphics. There's a million of them, though. Pac-Man World obviously being the best. And actually, I guess if you want to throw this in as a separate game property, Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness, I don't know why I tried that. <laughs> I saw as soon as I jumped that I was gonna die. Um, Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness is also, also pretty good. God, this is gonna be pain. You know, let's just take this guy out first. Are you serious? He got that shot off so fast. There, oh my God. Quickest draw in the east, that guy. Oh, there's a Pong game that I've had my eye out for that I've seen advertised with the other games? I want to know what the PS1 Pong game is like. This looks just like Dark Souls? No, Dark Souls is fair. missing something. Uh-oh. Why are these guys so easily able to snipe me? Oh god, we've almost got another game over. I mean, I assume the answer is actually just that I'm bad, but it feels like they're too good at it. there. Shit, did I leave something in Bentley's section? I probably did. That's... Oh well. Oh well, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> Didn't quite get bamboatless, oh well.
Oh hey, I did get one of the snipes. Nice. I got one of them. Okay, I'll give one more look through the main section. And then I'll go back to Bentley. It is probably in Bentley, but I don't want to have to go through all of that again if I don't actually have to. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Nothing over here. Felt like I gave this a pretty good look at before, yep. Okay. Yeah, I think it's in Bentley. That's unfortunate. Sure. Also, let's do one glance around through here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Back to Bentley we go. That's fine though. This is the worst uh, backtrack I've had to do. The worst missed gem I've had. seen that post. Where was that? Hey, extra life. Ah. Okay, okay. Damn it. Really hoping it would be that guy. <laughs> um, wait a minute. What? It's not here. Three gems? Okay, that makes me feel like it's not just some some random gem I missed. That's like a corner I'm not checking. Where the hell is it? Are they? So that is multiple gems. Uh... Anybody familiar with Spyro 3 have any ideas? Three gems in bamboo? Swim in air more? Yeah, I can do that. Actually, I guess I didn't glance in the water. Are there three gems in the water that I missed? Yes. Thank you, Reiji. <laughs> you were half right. I didn't need to swim in air, I just needed to swim. Swimming in 
water before air. It's crazy, right? Ooh, that would be a good idea, Reiji. I was just gonna go up high and look for sparkles. Oh, this is another good enemy is saying thing when you kill them. Those cows say Lemu. <laughs> Love that one. They do. I noticed that once when I was watching Delwingo play that. I still haven't played Going Commando myself. But yes, I noticed that. I will eventually. It seems like a good game. Got Shamp. Can I jump off of this tree? Yes. Neat. Come here, Hunter.
actually remembered to leave the level instead of just starting again. Okay, um, this is another one that's gonna suck. We got Sergeant Bird, but we also have skateboarding. And skateboarding sparks less is not fun. Also, I suck at hitting these guys. I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna try to get as many of the green guys as I can with Spyro. <sighs> Come on! <laughs> got me again. There. And just like that, I'm on zero lives. So, we gotta be careful. respawn real quick to to get more lives. That seems like the careful way to approach this. sure if Spyro 3 is actually the hardest game, or if it only feels that way because it's the one I've played the least. But I definitely, even in normal runs, take damage and die way more in Spyro 3 than in 1 or 2. Could also be a combination of both, but... But imagine having nuanced ideas about why things happen. Give me the gems. Give me the gems. Don't look. Don't look, Spyro. Okay, you can look. Yeah, this will be interesting. This is gonna be something.
I love hearing Hunter's dialogue snippets in this section. Hey! Whoa! Alright! It's just very encouraging. Just jump there from here. Yes. Good. Okay, that makes it a bit easier. How many points do I need to beat Hunter again? Like, 5,000 something? This game has gaps. I think that's all the gems around here. That actually went okay. Ah, yes. Yes, it does. I think only in that park, though. I don't think it does in the other one. God damn it. Toop, we're really getting through this game. We're doing it. The Toop. What am I 
doing? <laughs> Just completely forgot how to get this button for a minute there. What? Reggie, what did you see? Oh, damn it. <laughs> He's trying to pick dog at me, obviously. By monkey, do you mean the dog that we're helping? <laughs> This monkey? <laughs> hey. <sighs> okay, now for the fun part. <laughs> There's the other. Okay, <laughs> good. That was gonna be a big problem immediately if I didn't get that right then. <laughs> Snag these. Snag these. Why? <laughs> walk for a little bit here because we're scared. This tower somewhere. Did I miss any others? Doesn't look that way. Or if I did, I didn't see them immediately, so they don't exist. Shit. <sighs> okay. That's fine. We, we've still got this. We don't have to watch this. We've still got this. 
Where... Where would it be? Where would the gems be? What do you think, guys? Give me ideas. Thank you for the good luck. I'm gonna need it. In a tower. Potentially. That's one idea. I don't see it there. Felt pretty good about getting the ones along there. I'm happy I got that. Might help to just run through some of this backwards. Oh! Ragey! Two levels in a row! Not in a row. I did Country Speedway. Two missed gems in a row, though. All of you. Where am I going? Hello. God damn it. Oh, I'm aiming too low, that's why.
didn't see that red one at all. Break from gem collection for a minute. Real nice. Let's try that again. Oops. Memes. Good memes. done with uh, midday, actually.
I already got that bird. Wait, did I? Shit, no, I might not have. I might need to get that bird. I also apparently didn't get this, so hold on a second. Can I... I don't know that I've ever actually done that before. But I've seen other people do it a million times. Uh, one of the advantages of watching other people do a speed run a billion times. You just, you pick things up like that. Ah, I didn't get that. Fuck. Uh, wait. Did I not get that one? No, I did. Oh. Okay then. <laughs> there it is. <sighs> uh, it's a it's a mod. I have basically a Game Shark device that's locking my health at zero. Now, I suspect this is going to be the hardest boss. This one is usually pretty tough. Yeah, probably this one. Scorch could also be tough, but Spike... Spike is frequently hard normally. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, because of stuff like that. Just a pivot at the wrong time can ruin you. Why? <laughs> there. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I suspect this one might take me a bit. Thought he was gonna run back to the center. over his shoulder. Oh, come on. Stop it. Oh my god, I bonked on him? What? Oh boy, that's good to know. Almost there then. I mean, it's not just me, right? Bonking on him when he tries to slap me. That was... that was a little crazy, right? It was a little weird. Oh, fuck. Am I at five deaths yet? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Okay. He only shot once. That'd be easy mode spike. His shot got blocked on the chicken. Oh, fuck. No.
Let's just... God damn it. Let's just hope we don't game over. <laughs> I think that's about the best I could ask for. Oh, I should have taken that. <laughs> oh well. Didn't even game over, let's go. We got this. Easy game. They do track you. They absolutely do. They track you a little bit. But they are still not very hard to dodge as long as you're paying attention. Which I was clearly not. Also, will not drop anything for me. Mm, I kind of want that butterfly. <laughs> kind of really want that right now. Because <laughs> dying in this level would be a bit of a problem. I don't think it's that much, but 
but whatever. Oh yeah, no, it's barely anything. It's like 60-something, I think. Last gem? Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> Another homeworld down. Excellent. Oh boy, we can use Spark's Gem Finder now. <laughs> Everything's gonna be so much easier. Oh my god, I want that one gem. <laughs> uh, I think this is going to be the worst homeworld. For... Well, I was... Okay, when I started that sentence, I was thinking about worst homeworld in terms of getting all the gems in the homeworld. Honestly, this might just be the worst set of levels as well. Fireworks Factory especially, the Agent 9 mission is gonna suck. Charmed Ridge and Frozen Altars won't be too bad. Bentley won't be too bad. I guess it's mostly just fireworks. Lost Fleet, though, also has another skateboarding section. Hey, we lost music. Neat. Oh, there it is. It started. So yeah, between Fireworks and Lost Fleet, this is just going to be rough. I generally really, really like Lost Fleet, actually. When I'm playing normally, Lost Fleet is one of my favorite levels. But for this, it's going to be really hard. Between the underwater acid stuff, the subs area and skateboarding all of all of that sparks list is going to be really hard the dragon area sparks list i don't think will be too bad i have a suspicion that'll be okay I think I usually have a problem with the dragons hitting me. I'm generally pretty good at just not facing their heads. But we'll see. We'll see. You know what only just occurred to me? I can't do the skip and super bonus round. I'm gonna have to get the thieves normally. Crap. That... That won't be too bad. That's not a big problem. It just didn't occur to me until just now.
A few more things there than I normally want to. to gem collection. Oh yeah, and I'm on zero lives. I keep forgetting about that. If I don't game over here, it might be worth ending this level with a death abuse. I'm not sure how best to get rid of that cat wizard quickly, actually. Because even when I make that jump, that cat wizard hits me pretty often. Whoa, now. No, that's not it. Okay, well, I guess I don't have to worry about it. Another thing I could do. Just get that extra life real quick. I actually probably should have gone in this room the other way. 
Oh, it doesn't matter. I got him. all of them up here. There's nothing right there. Nice little slalom. I feel pretty good thinking I got everything. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm not positive, but I think I did. No gems up here. Yeah, okay, so we should be good then. I think I'm going to grab those extra lives over there. I might as well. God, go through the door. Right, I do need to talk to her.
Oh, Sergeant Bird. <laughs> you are the worst part of this game. I didn't always feel that way, but I feel that way now. Just have the magic jar, and then a couple of enemies. that glitch happens sometimes. I'm not softlocked, right? I can just, like, do it again. I just, I forgot it was a thing. Yeah, okay. The jar is back. Let's just, just... Let's just do it with flame. We don't need the fireball. Would you do this? Because it's fun. Why not? Why aren't you doing it right now? You don't want Spyro 3? That's a decent reason.
Oh, good. Wait. Okay, good. <laughs> good. We did it. Okay, now we get to deal with how horrible collecting gems is going to be here. I'd rather not imagine that. plate next. <clears throat> We're doing it. We're getting through it. I fell in the acid. It's fine, I can just get that later. Probably. Oh my god, I hit it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
perfect. That should be all of the acid swimming outside of subs. Hey, Laura. It's actually going pretty well. This, I think, is going to be one of the hardest parts, but... But other than this, it's actually going really well. Oh, also except for Bird. Bird was terrible. But other than that, it's going pretty well. Gotta, gotta say. Oh, I thought there were gems up there. Nope, I wanted... I wanted all of those gems. Not none of them. It's fine. We get, like, six laps for this. We're fine. Shit. <laughs> oh, God. We're fine. We're fine. Oh no. Jump. Jump! God damn it, Spyro. Okay, okay. So first of all, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm basically nailing it. We're good. We're good. Look, we got Oliver. We got Oliver. Everything's fine. I even got the lap time skill point. <laughs> That's how you know everything's fine. I... It was good, actually. Gotta remember... That's the gem I had missed. There we go. I kind of wanted to hit Hunter. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was one right there. <sighs> Shit. Uh, that's okay. We can just we can just pull one of these. No, we can't. No, oh, we kind of can. Oh well. Okay, that's fine. I... Actually, that's not so fine. I absolutely cannot get all the rest of the gems in one go. I mean, I could. It would just be difficult. Okay. So first of all, from here... Gotta get this. Damn it. <laughs> not a great start. Uh, we gotta get this. Okay, okay, and then there's a few over here. Oh shit, I forgot a crab! Well, okay, we get to do this again. That's fine. We needed gems anyway. We're fine. We did it. Okay, you beat Spyro, but you didn't get all the crabs. A draft of your pedigree should really be able to do both. Hunter sounded just like Ripto in that line. I'm just saying, maybe the fact that they're the same voice actor isn't a coincidence. Maybe the Hunter is Ripto theory is finally, finally gaining some weight. <laughs> Hunter is just Ripto's persona. <laughs> um, how do I get... Maybe I have all of them now. I don't know, maybe I'm good. I have no idea how many gems are left. <laughs> Oh, 
Not the ones up there. There it is. Nope. Just, just fall. It kills you! Why does that kill you? <sighs> it's been fun learning which things hurt you or kill you while doing sparksless attempts. Like, I learned that uh, the, the cutscene in Zephyr where the room blows up, uh, if you're in that room, it damages you, and if you're sparksless, it kills you. I didn't know that before running Sparksless Hundo. Why? <laughs> it's just fun. Fun learning things about these games. That's why I do these memes. I like to learn. Spyro 3 is a finished good game, and other hot takes. Hi, Laura. I think I got all the gems. John, give us some hot takes. I love John's hot takes. Um, that's not right. I want this now. I also missed a gem right there. And I don't think there's anything here yet. Hot takes. Cereal is a soup. Cereal is a soup, and milk is broth. Um... What is it you do? Can you just, like, stand here? Yes. Yes, you can. Thanks, video game. Terraria is a Metroidvania? Yeah, I think that's fair. In my head, I mixed up the locations of the whirlwind and the portal. So it's not just that I nearly hit the portal, I was aiming for the portal. <laughs> oh god, I'm missing John's hot takes. Why? I can just stop playing, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is the first run. Yeah, I don't really have a problem. I guess... I guess with Metroidvania, I frequently think of... The things that you're getting, like the abilities that you pick up or the equipment that you pick up or whatever, acts as a key to open other sections of the game. And... I feel like that only happens metaphorically in Terraria. It happens a little bit in Terraria. Like, getting stuff actually physically lets you into certain areas. But not as much as just, like, unlocking new things that you can mine.
Yeah, that's... Uh, hold on. Hold on. Where am I going? I need to go this way. And I need to jump here? I've never jumped off of this before. Yeah, that was right. Okay, cool. We're good. Um... I mean... Yeah, beating bosses opens new areas. I don't think that's unique to Metroidvanias, though. And I think things like the jungle key opening that and everything, I think that happens rarely enough that I wouldn't call that, like... A critical part of the game's definition. I don't know, I guess I can see the argument that it's a Metroidvania, I just wouldn't call it that. It is certainly closer to one than I think a lot of people might normally think about. Oh, no, I got it. Cool. Fuuuuck! Hey, John. Guess who hasn't played the entirety of any Halo game? <laughs> I played most of Halo 1, and it was really good. I did not finish it. I have no idea where... There it is. I keep meaning to get Master Chief Collection on Steam sometime. Because like I said, I really liked Halo 1. It was really good. <laughs> I just never got around to finishing it. I almost forgot to break that. I don't think that'll work. Yeah. Here's a hot take. The Lost Fleet song is one of the best songs in this game. I don't think I've found anyone that actually agrees with me on that. I've found a lot of people that have told me that this song is terrible. But I think it's great. I love this one. That sneaky submarine. There we go. <laughs> I just think it's really chill. I think it's really catchy. I think it gets too much hate. If it helps balance it out, I also think Frozen Altars has one of the best songs in this game, and I think that's a much more popular opinion. I wonder how many times I'm gonna need to get the invincibility again. TF2 in so long. I need to play it again. I 
I was never good at it, but I really enjoy TF2. I've gotten the invincibility now. Instead of, I think it normally takes me like two. Fuck. Okay, hold on a second. Also, Laura, I agree with your hot take. I guess I'll glance through here one more time. And if it's not readily visible soon, I guess I'll duck out of here and check the rest of the level. Oh, I agree with that, John. I tried playing through Super Metroid within the last year, and like, it's okay. But, yeah. Um, I have no idea where I might be missing a gem. I, I don't know where it would be. How many gems am I missing? I shouldn't have done that over acid. I might die here in a second. <laughs> I am missing one gem somewhere. That's relieving, honestly. That means that I'm not... Like, I'm not missing a whole section, I just missed one gem. When are we gonna golf with friends again? I don't know. Next time someone redeems it? That was the only reason I did it before. I did not hear about that, Hangman. I still need to play through Yoshi's Island. I played through, like, one level on the, uh, the Switch Super Nintendo thing. And then didn't really go back to it. It seemed pretty good. Oh, uh, I'm gonna check skateboarding at the end. I'm gonna just trust that I don't have it. That I that I don't have it in there. Yogi's Island. I guess I'll check the the acid, but I'm pretty sure I got everything here. I'm fairly certain I did. Unless there's like one gem hiding on the side around here. Yeah, no, I got everything there. Guys, please don't tell me my Miss Gem is in skateboarding. I don't want that. <sighs> Let's go check skateboarding. Give it to me, John. What's another hot one?
take your word for it, John. <laughs> you keep giving hot takes that I don't know anything about. <laughs> Okay, is it possible that there's a red gem up here somewhere? That didn't help me. That's not what I wanted. Stop it. Go up. No, I don't see a red gem up there. One more, one more check real quick. Or not, never mind. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> is it like here and on the right or something? No? No, there's clearly nothing up there. I really think I got all the gems here, so where is it? Did I actually just miss something in subs? Because it's being accurate, duh. <laughs> Definitely not one here. I guess I'll check subs again. What am I doing? I'm nowhere close to that. Just die. Fastest way back to subs. Wait a minute. I guess it'd be go this way if I can't get there from here. I never see people try going from skateboarding to subs. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, real quick, actually. I did not double check this acid pool. And I don't see anything here. Okay. Okay. I checked. Back to subs it is. No, I think you can leave it off, Ants. I think you're good. Guys, where is it? Where's the gem? Tell me, I'll figure it out myself. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Oh, God. We're getting there. Uh, fireworks. Fireworks factory. And then, I guess, Bentley and then Frozen Altars? No, I was supposed to do Homeworld stuff now. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, Agent 9. That's on my mind. It's fine. Nice. Good start. Good start to the level. this is.
Fucking hell. <laughs> Why? How many lives do I have? Not enough. Not enough is the answer. It's fine though. Because we got noodles. Percent done. Sub three thirty. Let's go. Whatever happened to noodles percent? It's on the category extension spreadsheet. Nobody wants to run it, because it's kind of a boring category. But who uses that anymore? I use that! I updated it today to add an entry for this category. That said, I think only I use it. I don't know if anybody else does. the hot take, John. The office is not good. Yeah, that's... I think that's pretty undeniably a hot take. I think regardless of your opinion on the office, I think most people would agree that the office is good. So yeah, I, that, that sounds like a pretty hot take indeed. It is overrated, I'll give it that. But to say it's just not good. Also, there are absolutely not good points in it, for sure. I will also say, I think, I don't know what it is exactly, but something changed in the tone of the show, like, four seasons in, and I think it got a lot better at that point. Like, it just got a lot nicer. Fuck. I think is the main thing. What year was that? I have no idea. And also, I agree, Parks and Rec is just a lot better. Oh my god. Why am I not getting in there? Uh, probably around then.
That's true, Aqua. I don't understand why this isn't working. <laughs> I think I've only seen The Hangover once, and it was many years ago, so I can't comment on that. Aim for the left antenna? Oh. Oh, yeah. I was aiming for the right one, mostly. Okay. Oh. Well, either way. Oh, actually, this is something I also haven't been sure about. Yeah, okay, I thought so. <laughs> I figured that would happen. <clears throat> I'm just gonna play this really slow. I think is the strat here. Yeah, no, I, I always get that uh, after I go through the first room. I can't seem to figure out the aim to get it before the first room. I've had trouble doing that before. I just instinctively started going for the fodder. Like some kind of big dumb. Hey, guy. Maybe stop. Stop shooting at me, please. Why? <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> okay, don't go first person. Lesson learned. Now I know. to get that guy, haha. -ha. Also, is it back? It is back, thank goodness. And it gave me the skill point again? Is it supposed to do that? Huh. I didn't know that. some guys to fall down, maybe? Seems like the better solution to, uh, to the uncertainty I had. Okay. Now I should be able to just snipe them. Oh, I agree with that, John. I think I do. I mostly agree with that. There's one notable example that I feel that way about, but I don't remember all of the music differences. But I, I like 1.0 Sorcerer's music. I think any time the Spyro boss fight music tries to be, like, dark and dramatic, it just ends up kind of boring. Except maybe the Ripto fight, which goes so overdramatic that it's just funny.
Yeah, actually, Crystal Islands with Seashell does work. Please. Please. Oh, thank god. Okay. 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 This is good progress. You know, Muzz, not as much as I thought it would. Just like every other Sparksless category, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. When Spyro 3 blindfolded? As soon as you do it, Aqua. Be the change you want to see in the world. I wanted to see a Spyro 3 Sparksless run, so I did it. Uh... Get out of here. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> they were ready for me. in here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Nope. 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 We got it. John, I've never had coffee in my life. I don't know what, deca what decaf espresso beans means. I don't know anything about coffee. Just turn around. <laughs> ha. Oh, okay. It's still like Ripto for extended range. I've been trying to figure out if early Ripto makes any sense in Sparksless. Because it is still nice to not have to end in Winter Tundra because of that. But I don't know... I don't know. There's a lot of extra stuff that early Ripto does. Oh, seriously? Oh, it's aiming down. That's the issue. You don't need theater. Wait, 
what do you mean? Wait. Oh. You mean like as opposed to doing Ripto? Because I, I also feel like if you get Fireball... You can clear Winter Tundra and then just go buy Head Bash, right? Like, you'll have the gems at that point by the time you're you're done with all the levels. Oh my god. Go. You're cheating. This is cheating. I didn't even know there was a rocket right there. Probably because I never play this game. Give me that egg. I'm... I'm gonna do another run through here real quick. I'm not convinced I got everything. Nope, we did. Unless there's anything at the start here that I wasn't aware of. is there to buy in Spyro 2? There's the abilities in the two levels. There's the bridge in Crystal. I actually have no idea where Moneybags pops up in Winter Tundra. Oh, I guess the flights. So, four levels. Well, I mean, yeah, you don't, but I'm just trying to think of where all he appears at all. It's been so long since I've played most of that game without doing early Ripto that, uh, that I just don't remember. absolutely don't need him for, but he's there. I wasn't paying attention. Where's the dragon? There it is. Nope. Nope. Stop healing. Stop it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, magma. back. Let's go. I don't know, if your choices are theater or buy everything, assuming you have the gems. <laughs> I'm not convinced theaters faster.
Um, I think I got everything here. I'm gonna say that one more time now. I think I got everything here. What do you mean rerouting? Isn't there a, a proxy you can do to skip that ladder? Fuck. How many gems am I? Oh! Did I ever go over here? Yes. Okay, shit. Then, yeah, how many... How many gems am I missing? <laughs> One. One gem. Is it this guy? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, I should do these things. I still haven't done this. I guess I'll do this first. Yes, Eliza, I am still playing. Did you expect I got a sub 4 sparksless run when I don't even have a sub 4 non sparksless run? <laughs> Sparks holds me back, that's true. I believe it. Um, I'm sorry, there's a thing there I missed, right? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Eliza. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. Same joke, Aqua. Oh, right, I actually need to touch these gems. I can't just expect to collect them. Uh, were there any other gems over here, actually? I'm, I'm not sure. I never think about gems in this level. I normally just kind of seem to get them. Not sure I've ever seen Bentley die in this level. Didn't know it could happen. Oh 
my god, jump. Let's uh let's get this skill point. I like how you can see that enemy on the totem from over here. Out of the corner of my eye, I just read Biobles as Beyblades. And was a little confused. <laughs> like, I know I haven't played that much RuneScape, but I didn't think they brought Beyblades into it. small. Oh well. Not a big deal. <laughs> Don't let him rip. I do not want Beyblades, no. And I don't think Beyblades would get me to play RuneScape more. Seriously? <laughs> I have so much trouble dodging attacks from large enemies in this game.
What would get me to play RuneScape more? That's a good question. It's a very difficult question. One of the great unanswerable questions of the universe. be a lot better at wall glides like this if I actually played this game for more than a couple days at a time. I know I've had several times where I knew what to do specifically, but then I stopped playing the game and I forgot again. here too? No. And there also aren't any here. Okay. I didn't know those guys could aim up so high. <laughs> I've never had them snipe me in the air like that. <laughs> cool. I think that's three game overs so far? Well, I tried. Why did I bonk on the ice without breaking it? You know what I should do? <laughs> Just make my life a lot easier. That. Oh, so get out of here, Alex. No. No. Not okay. proxies, just tiny ones. Thank you, Eliza. You do know I like this shirt.
Nice. I'm happy with that. Oh heck, Eliza. This is the level with uh, Ba, the sheep egg. Hopefully you're still watching when I get there. No, it's much better than the reignited version. Unless I'm just misremembering, and they did something dumb. Damn. I was kind of hoping I could get some power punches in and just get a one-rounder. But not quite. Not quite. Very close. gem there. Thanks, man. I'm excited to get to that, too. That game has always looked really cute to me. Okay, it's the egg for this challenge. No! Ah, oh, damn it! That was almost really good. Please. Good. And... good? That was still really good. Okay, this one. That's good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Thank God. Okay. We're out of there. And then we're almost done with evening. Just have the sparks level of the boss. <sighs> and hopefully we have gotten all of the gems in the home world.
Because if we are missing gems in the home world, those are going to suck to get. <laughs> I'm sure I'll do fine, Eliza. Do you, do you not believe me? Where, where's the rocket? There it is. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna pivot a lot more than that. Spyro's health is just locked at one. Well, technically it's locked at zero, but yeah, same idea. See, so yeah, if you get fodder, you get sparks back for one frame and then he immediately disappears. level first. I'll find it later. <clears throat> and then the sparks levels themselves, uh, you enter them with one health. Uh, and then if you pick up fodder in the sparks level, it will heal you. And if you die in the sparks level, you come back at full health. Um, but then, of course, once you leave the level again, it just locks you back at zero. green butterfly in this level anywhere? Or do you just have to take the one you get at the start to the end? <laughs>
been exposed as the fraud I am. Oh, no, that answered my question. Oh no. Okay, okay. Unsubbed, unfollowed, I understand. I would do the same. Yes, it was. How goes the run? It's it's going all right. Like every sparksless category, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. The parts that I expected to be really really bad weren't. Like uh, Agent 9 and Fireworks Factory, I expected to be just miserable, but it was okay. Sergeant Bird's Base, I think, is the worst level so far. That one... That one was really miserable. Okay, I'm missing five gems here somewhere. And I'm gonna go ahead and guess they're underwater. <laughs> Yeah, heading into Midnight Mountain, on pace to beat my first 117. Probably on pace to beat my second 117, too, which was about six hours, I think? I think my second, my second 117 run was like six hours, 12 seconds or something. But yeah, I was... I mean, I, I always... I generally will overestimate how long a run will take when I'm planning to do something silly and new like this. And my estimate was like... 8 hours. So this is doing a lot better than that. This is not a Sparksless Trifecta. Although, I will do a Sparksless Trifecta eventually. Sparksless 337 sounds fun. And the fact that this is not that bad makes me really confident that I will actually do it. Nice. Real nice. I think I would like to get better at normal 117 before doing a trifecta, though. I'm happy enough with how I am at Spyro 2, even though I'm not great at it. But Spyro 3 in particular, I, I know I can just improve in this so much more. You did it. 
I've just never really made an effort to learn this game. How many lives do I have? Am I at zero right now? I didn't pay attention when I respawned. We'll find out when I die. Oh, don't, don't hit a sheep down for me, please. I see the game setting that up. And that's not what I need. Okay, good. Game... Unnecessary, honestly. Oh god, sorceress is moving. Does the sorceress not do the thing that a lot of bosses in these games do, where if there's a fodder, she can just take it to heal? Because if she's not going to go for it, then sure, I'll just leave him, leave him down. Uh, hello, sorceress. Do you want to get out of my way? Thank you. She can't use them. Okay, yeah, I'll just ignore them then. I'll ignore them as best I can. I'm gonna let this pass before jumping on here. Sorceress, why? What did that sheep ever do to you? Oh no, what did I ever... Oh god. I guess there's not really any reason for me to do bug bot first, but I'm just gonna do my route. Who's probably just trying to take her babies back? Jenny, the game was pretty explicit that they stole those babies from the dragons. is also pretty explicit that she wants to kill all of the dragon babies for their wings. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not why. I don't remember. 
remember what this key is for. Was it for over here? Was it was it for down here? Oh what? Hey! Oh, fuck. Oh my god, fucking die. God. <sighs> okay, okay, gonna grab this, gonna go this way. We'll be good. Yes, that's right, Eliza. We were talking about that a little bit earlier. I think... I think... that the Sorceress is just using basically the same spell to make the Rhinox exist. That's my guess. Who was asking about money bags in this game earlier? Was it Ragey? Ragey, are you still here? Because, yeah, here's what happens with money bags. I think. How many times do I end up flaming him? Because I don't do all the skips that people do. I think I have like three. Or six. Whereas it's normally more than that. I have no idea how to do scorpion proxies. Oh hey, I was on zero lives. I was wondering about that earlier.
How about that? Hey, you know what? We did Bugbot Factory. So we can just warp back there. I think it is Jenny, yes. Try doing a speed run of Load Runner sometime. I'd be curious about what that's like. Just thinking about the games that we had when we were kids. Jumped. I have seen that Jenny. That's, that's a good cosplayer. <sighs> okay. Clearly, clearly I don't remember the timing on that. I thought it was gonna be like another full second before it attacked again. Get on the ladder! This video game, man. There's not a gem here, right? Didn't think so. Oh, actually, this section. Oh, god. This is gonna be rough. to hurt. Now get all of the gems. There are gems in here. I thought this little path was empty for some reason. Is that all of them? That feels like all of them. I think I got the ones that were kind of on the outskirts already. I think I got all of them. Yeah. Okay.
forgot there was a series of scorpions there. I was not expecting those. That's right, a couple of these, uh, flamey, hot floor guys can be kind of hard to get from their level. I'm gonna, gonna just get above that one. Go from here. I guess this way? Oh shit, no, I can't damage boost back up there. Okay, okay. Gonna have to do a small amount of creative routing. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back this way right now. I think the stuff that is below the Sheila portal I should have just gotten already would be the proper way to route it. Really? Or I don't know, maybe there's some... No, I can't really death abuse. No, I guess I could've. You could get the egg inside that cave and then die. Or get the egg in the cave, run out. No, shit, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. We're there, we got the thing, we're good. God, I'm getting sleepy. That's 
not helpful for speedrunning. lives again. I just realized I'm gonna have problems if I am. The one thing that matters. There we go. And then did the balloon respawn, or is it? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh god. Wrong button. There you go. Thanks. 
Getting these Rhinox can kind of suck. That really doesn't help, also. Hey, Thirsty. Just get that later, that's fine. There we go. Thank you. How's it going, Thirsty? Have you done any Sparksless speedruns recently? If you haven't, I recommend it. Highly. Okay, how about from here? There we go. Oh, stop getting caught on walls, come on. That one, yeah, it's that one. Oh no. Mm, okay, we're good. We're good. Shoot. What did I miss? Did I miss a balloon? Around here? No? I missed a gem. Thank you, Muzz. I suppose I must have. room. Well, I feel like I was pretty good about getting stuff out of this room. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be in here. Oh, there's gems over here. zero lives also. So that's neat. It's just a fun little fact. Wide Hunter. Big Wide Hunter. Hello. 
low. There you go. I didn't want to go in the water yet. I thought there was a second octopus in here. I guess not. There we go. That's nice. Big fan of having lives. Light hunter toast. Stupid magician. Knocked me off the ground. <laughs> Oh, champ. Oh! Shit, I need to change the route a little bit. I can't do the normal one. Uh, the normal route involves taking damage on some, uh, explodey explodey bottles up there, and I can't do that. Um... Yeah, no, I think that's okay. I think I can work it out. Why is there so much face in my hair? It just does that. Get out of my way. If I could have less face in the hair, I, I would, but it doesn't really seem to be an option. I don't know, maybe there are some kind of, like, face removal surgeries I could do that would, would remedy it. Thing. So, if I ever go to a doctor, I'll be sure to ask him about face removal surgeries. <laughs> Should be about here? Yeah. small detour. I don't know. 
Normally I might say yes, but it is Saturday. And depending on who you are, time might just stop existing on Saturday. Um, huh. I think I'm gonna actually do a couple of things that I need to do in flight real quick. Okay, good. And then I'll go ahead and just play the rest of the level by ear and see what happens. Particularly, I wanted to get that gem, and I want to get the lock chest. Just because if I game over, I'll need to get the key again, and that'll be a pain. Okay. And we should be good to just run off this way. Oh god, I can't blame Sparks for this slide anymore. <laughs> I need to actually get all the gems myself. Well, we've already failed it. How many times do you think I'm gonna need to do this slide? <laughs> I'm betting three. Manly also thinks three. Lucas thinks two. Lucas has big faith in me. He thinks I'm gonna just sweep it all up this time. Already not doing three. Ragey says four. I'm... I'm thinking Ragey might be right. At least four. is wrong. And that's all there is to that. Okay, okay. Three is possible. Three is possible. Okay, so we're looking at four right now. Is that it? Is that the last gem? I think it was. Ragey wins.
Are you fucking serious? Why? How many game overs is that now? Like four? Five? Something around there, right? Don't need any of that. I was about to say this game does not have does not seem to have as many extra lives as Spyro 2 did, but also I think Spyro 2 is just easier and I died a lot less. But that said, I... oh no! Oh, okay, okay, that worked. I, I do still think that, I think, uh, I think Spyro 2 might have had quite a few more lives than this one. Whatever. I got the gem. <laughs> We're good. <sighs> Just a few levels left. Right? Just... Haunted Tomb, Dino Mines, Harbor? I think that's it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited to see how tanks goes. Behind me. Right. Damn it. Heels. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I'll take that. I kind of wish the camera wasn't doing this, but I'll take that. Not really sure why the camera is doing this. But it's okay. There we go. Okay. Guess that's just what happens if you <laughs> run along this backwards.
Oh god, these rooms. I hadn't thought about these rooms. I, I die in these- or I take damage in these rooms fairly often. So I'm not convinced I'm gonna get through this easily. Just, just play it safe. Just keep an eye on the shadows. Okay. Okay. I knew it was coming. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I hadn't thought about it, but this level is kind of hard to get through without taking damage, isn't it? Just a little bit. Yeah, I'm using a, um, basically a game shark to lock Spyro's health at zero. You know what? I'm actually gonna do tanks last. Should I? No, that doesn't make sense. I'm okay to do it right now. It won't make a difference. I was just thinking if I game over and it, it might be nice to just need to run back here, but damn it. But I don't think it actually matters. Also, what's up, Colt? I have played with the with the double jump code. I played with it on console when uh, I think the day that it was uh, was brought about. Work back. That double jump code actually was kind of the catalyst for finding a, a neat skip. Um, while I was playing around with it, I noticed that. Uh, While I was playing around with it, I noticed that um, you could get into the bamboo boat area by double jumping over the the um, you know the the box that pulls you down and makes you talk to the NPC. I noticed you could double jump over it, and then while I was playing around with it, I noticed that you can actually. It's hard and really precise, but you can just charge jump over it and not need to talk to the NPC and freely roam around the boat area. So I figured that out, and then Nitrovsky spent a bunch of time practicing that and figuring out a setup and eventually figured out how to make it RTA viable. Well, RTA viable, like at the highest level. <laughs> I think he's the only one that's done it in a run. There we go.
turn. It's not turning strafe, is what I meant to say. Spyromodder? That's awesome. I still need to play those games. I own a bunch of the Spyro games, and I've hardly played any of them. Outside of the original trilogy. Easy tanks. got this guy. real quick. Okay. One more scary probable damage section, and then I think we're gonna be good on this level. But it is, again, really easy to accidentally take damage up here. Okay. All right. <sighs> yeah, that sounds about right. There's nothing there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I... I've tried playing through Season of Ice a few times, and that game is so bad. There was a casual Spyro Discord I used to be in. It had this one member who kept insisting that Season of Ice was, like, objectively the best Spyro game. And, uh... I remember one time while talking about it, it eventually came up that he hadn't played it in, like, ten years. It was like, no, I know, though, that it is the best one, even if it's been a long time since I've played it. And so he played it again, uh, and insisted that he only looked at it objectively, that he took off the nostalgia goggles, 
and after playing it again, confirmed that it is objectively the best Spyro game. And I think he was a very silly person. <laughs> that game is just so terrible. I've heard it's the worst of the handheld games, but I've heard the other ones aren't a lot better. Okay, just keep stuff off camera. Just keep stuff off camera. Like, I fully believe that that guy liked the game, and I don't think there's a problem with that. I just think it's funny that the only person I've seen who had anything good to say about the game also insisted that it is objectively the best Spyro game. And they liked the other Spyro games, too. It's not like they were like, this is the only good Spyro game. They love the whole series. But they were just positive that that's the best one. It was just funny. And yeah, I get, I've gotten the impression, not having played them or seen much of them, that the post-original trilogy Spyro games were all good. Or at least decent, they just weren't what a lot of original Spyro fans were wanting out of more Spyro games, and so they just kind of got a bunch of hate because of that. They were just really different from the original trilogy. Um, did I flame the dynamite from that blue dino a minute ago? Turn around, turn around. Okay. I just... It seemed like the dynamite from that dino kinda disappeared from nothing and didn't damage me, and I was confused. And this should be fun with one health. <laughs>
this lucky Luke? It basically is, isn't it? Necessary padding. Hold on, I'll read the rest of that in a minute. Or I'll try to, anyway. Final area in the first game is just padded to hell with enemy wave after enemy wave. Uh -huh. I wish Lucky Luke had a section like this. Except, I don't know that I do. They probably would have made it really bad. Got through it. First try. Hopefully this will be the last bunch of gems in the level. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I've been surprised by how... Like, okay, I know I have missed a bunch of gems throughout this run, but I've been surprised by how often I'm also not missing gems. say to my critics who claim Sparksless isn't a real category because it requires ice hacking or intervention or whatever. Um, nothing. I don't think their opinions matter. <laughs> Okay, we have a speedway, and then we have super bonus round. Yeah, I, I've had people try that too.
I don't know what I'm doing. This isn't a route. This isn't any route. But it's what I'm doing. <laughs> God, we gotta get the birds. I love how I missed, like, one of everything. So I missed that right there. I missed the one bird. I missed more than that. I missed a lot of things. Shut up. Is there a ju double jump category? No. People talked about that back when the mod was made, but it just doesn't vary the game that much. If you already know how to do proxies, you can already get basically anywhere you want to go anyway. <laughs> Lobsters. Like, the double jump hack, it definitely drastically changes how you might play around in the game casually, but it just doesn't change the speedrun very much. Also, I mean, technically, there is a category in that anyone can make any category they want, and so if somebody wants to run it, they can go for it but it's not like there's a leaderboard for it anywhere right now. We do have... Oh, come on. We do have a... category extension spreadsheet that anyone is free to edit whenever they want. Um, so if somebody really wanted a double jump category, they could throw it on there, but I heard a lot of people suggest the idea, and nobody ever made one. I was real strict about the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I am missing so many of these stars. <laughs> thing. Ragey leveled up. Let's go. Last thing, and then we get to go to the nightmare that will be SBR. <laughs> I guess it won't be that bad. Most gems auto-collect anyway. There's just gonna be a bunch around. And we can't do the skip to get the fireball. Unless there's a secret second skip that you can do that is damageless that somebody happens to know about. <laughs> Oops. 
Uh, I haven't played Reignited in a long, in recent enough to really be able to comment on that. Most things in Reignited end up feeling really different, so I I don't know. with the Roman Republic. Oh my god, please. Camera and video game, please. That's not allowed. Guy, what did I do? What did I even do? Thanks, Muzz. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Is this just a thing that happens sometimes? You can, like catch him turning around as he's jumping or something and it messes up his path, I would guess. I watched Sim do a chunk of that run. What was his final time? I've been a little too busy doing this to... Be able to check the M++ Discord and see. Did he get sub 4? Damn it. 3.32, nice. from that moment, it's pretty good. It's a good moment. <sighs> okay. Shit. This is already the worst part of this game. Now I need to do it without sparks. That's much higher than I wanted to go. I'm gonna have to just be 
really careful getting a bunch of that, I think. Okay, let's jump this way. That worked. Just go down here. And that's not really going to work, but whatever. Okay. this time. And you know what? Let's just win the race. Let's let's not worry about the gems yet. <laughs> Let's just try to get as much of this on foot as we can. It won't be a lot, but I think there's a chunk we're going to need the board for. But if we can get a bunch of this on foot, I'd like to. I think it'd be a lot easier than trying to ride over all of this with the board. particular ones like that. Also these. Ah, I did get that already good. And is this too steep? Looks like it might be. Nope, not quite. Good. Um, wait. That's not gonna work. Oh well. Maybe? Maybe? Oh, let's go. Okay. Cool. It's just these four here. Yep. Yep, yep. yep. Nothing here? Really? I oh, thought there would have been something. And then these two, and then drop down. And then these. It's gonna be one or two back here. And then can I climb this? I cannot. Shit. Because the last ones I need, I think, are up there. I think I have everything else. Also, these two. They're... Mm, hello. Hello, these two gems. Oh, come on. Put me back further. Fuck. <sighs> okay, I'll get those in a minute. That's fine. That's fine. Or no, I can get it right now. attack you while you're on the board? This game. This flippin' game, man. Oh, no, I want that. Mmm. Crud. Let's just jump around. There it is. Okay. Okay. That's that. And then the one that I missed over here. 
and then that should be everything here. I think that's it. I think we're good. the last one. There it is. Let's go. Hey bird. Let's just do UFO proxy for the first time. Not for the first time. Let's Get the win with UFO Proxy. There we go. Still didn't, but... Someday. Someday I'll figure that out. Bird, you are coming in right at the end of a very, very dumb speedrun. I say right at the end. I have no idea how long this fight's gonna take. sub. An hour ago? No, I've been live for like nearly six hours. Good job, your phone. Thank you for the sub, though. The many, many months of sub. Almost, almost. One more hit. Oh, God damn it. There it is! 54402! Oh my god, sub 6! So, all... All three of the games, my first Sparksless runs, were just a little bit under double world record. <sighs> oh my god. So, to answer your question, Bird, the thing I was doing was I used a memory hack to keep sparks off. So I was at one health the whole time, and I had to pick up every gem manually. They wouldn't home in. And this is a very long and difficult game to begin with. So doing it without sparks just made it that much worse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, basically. I am the first one to do this. I did Spyro 1 Sparksless. When did I do that? A year ago, maybe? Um. And then as soon as I did that, of course, we had the ideas for Spyro 2 and 3 Sparksless, but I didn't do those until, like, this week. <laughs> This one just now on Spyro 2 last week, I guess.
And yeah, I, I was thinking like seven or eight hours going in, so I'm happy I did so much better than that. <laughs> That is nice to see. And Sparksless one seven or er, Sparksless three thirty seven then should be pretty easy to do in under twelve hours. <laughs> Sub ten is a stretch right now. My Spyro two time was like two fifty. Sub 10 is, hold on, I need, I need a math calculator, a math calculator, a time calculator. Gotta add some numbers. The sum of my sparksless PBs is about 10 hours 14 minutes, and obviously 2 and 3 can go way, way down. So, yeah, sub 10 sparksless wouldn't be too unreasonable, especially if I just fucking learned this game at all. I have no idea. There were a lot of pretty bad deaths. Um. Sub 5, certainly. Probably even sub 4, if a good Spyro 3 player is doing this. Because that's the other thing, is Spyro 3 is my worst Spyro game by far. So, this is going to be my worst sparseless time as well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much you could do. I do think being on when health in this... Like, the death aspect to it is significantly harder than Spyro 1 or 2. Skylanders Spyro only run when? When I play Skylanders. Where's the new layout? I didn't make one. I will do that tonight, actually, because I don't have any other plans tonight. I have a lot of time. I'll do that tonight. I, <laughs> I said that yesterday, and now I'm saying it today. I think twice hardly constitutes keep saying. Manly. And they leveled up. I mean, to be honest, I've also been pretty lazy recently. I've been lazy in that I just keep spending my time speed running instead of doing other things. Uh, I'm going to raid Joester, who is doing Twin Sanity 100% attempts. Yeah, have a good one, everybody. Thanks for hanging out through this. You all made it a lot easier to get through. Have a good one.